Hi guys, please hit the subscribe button, we really appreciate it and it helps our channel grow. Today's featured channel is, Rogue Nation, check out his channel from the link in the description, and give him the credit he deserves. I'm sorry, what's that now? Hey, how you doing man? Hey. Sorry about Alright, are you, so, you got your body cam on? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like so what's going on today, man? Why are you aggravating people? I'm not aggravating anybody. I came in here to take a look around the post office, do a little inspection of it. What you inspecting? Like to get, huh? What are you inspecting? The facility, just checking it out. For specific purpose? Well, I've got a purpose, but you know, you can't really divulge all your information all at one time when you're working on a story, you're trying to well, put pieces they're, together. They're trespassing you from the property, so I do need to see your ID. Well, I can't be trespassed unless I've committed a crime, is that right? Also, I need to be... No, they have I the right to trespass you from the Trespass property. warning first, that's so then you can just escort me off the property, that's and that's about it. That's what we're going to give you, it. but you, we have to have your ID to do so. No, you actually don't have to have my ID. You can just give me a warning, and I can walk away, and that's all as far as it goes. No, sir, but again, that's not the way we do it here in Roswell. <laughs> well, let's not worry about how we do it in Brazelton. Let's worry about how we do it you know, in the rest of the country. Um, but before we're even getting to that point right there, let's circle back around to the fact of what's trying to lead you to that. You're trying to trespass me from public property that that's open right. to the public. They have no right to ask me to leave. They do. They do not. Not unless I've committed a crime. Are you a sergeant? You're not a sergeant, are you? There you go. Can you get somebody else who's over you or even under you? Maybe one of your subordinates knows it better than you. No. I think they might. Um, but they uh, they can't ask me to leave public property if I'm here to conduct my business. What business? That would be denying me service. What's your business? I'm working on a story that I'm trying to put together. I need to get some footage of the inside of post office and how everything's operated in there. Okay. And trying to get the footage I need. You do some uh, walk through, you get what you need, you walk, stand back, you get some what's called B-roll. You get some of that stuff taken care of. Mm -hmm. And then also I do actually want to you know, make a purchase here too is why well, I'm here also to help support the post office. You know, they've been struggling. Well, it doesn't look like you're supporting, it looks like you're aggravating them. I'm not aggravating anybody. Y'all are aggravating me now. I could have already got what I needed, made my purchase, and then left. Well, not too. <laughs> we got called here because you were aggravating people and you was getting agitated apparently. So aggravating, uh, what charge is that going to be? Well, right now it's criminal trespass if you don't give us your ID so we can Well, so to trespass me, you got to have your ID so we can fill out a form. To trespass me, you got to have a crime committed on the public property. It is not true. It is true. It is not true. <laughs> if you come on my private property, not take uh, uh, that, there you go. That's different. It is not different. Your private property. Okay, who owns this? The government owns okay, this. They have the right to tell you to leave. They are not the she, government. She is. The, the, the First the Amendment gives me the right to be here, standing here, doing what I'm doing today. And she runs the property, and she has the right to tell you to leave. And I haven't bothered any customers. Well, that is not true. Otherwise, I've helped control. people, in fact. I've opened doors for people as they walked in. I stepped out hey. of line because they got busy. Hey, start running tags. Start running tags. Start running tags. In the parking lot, his <laughs> face is going to pop up on one of them. You think so? All right. Um, so... I was even opening doors for people. They, I wasn't finished conducting my business yet. You know they started getting busy. In? You know what car he drove up in? Okay. I actually started stepping out of line and letting people get in who had a lot of packages, a lot of stuff to take care of. Mm -hmm. I'm here collecting information on this post office because there's, if you look on uh, the Google reviews, they've got a very low score here, which is unusual because of a simple job, but just taking in packages and sending stuff out. But they have a very low score and a whole lot of stuff that talks about how people get packages missing from up here. I'm trying to see if there's anything that could be a link to that. Hmm. Then why is that your job? Why is it my job? It's not my job to make sure that they're not losing packages, but if I have information that could be useful to somebody else, then they could take care of it. How do I know she works for the post office? Well, I'm telling you she does, because I've seen her here before. Okay. She works behind the counter. Good for you. I don't know that, though. I'm telling you she does. All right. But either way, have you looked at the poster 7 that's on the wall in there? No. The gifts? Okay, come on, let's go take a look at the poster no, 7. No, we're not going back inside. You're, she said she, you're not welcome in there, so you're not welcome Well, we can go back in there together. We're not going back in there. And we can look at the poster 7 that actually gives you the right to film inside of the post office and the surrounding the government properties. 
you know we're not too far from Cumming, Georgia. Have you heard of Cumming, Georgia? I know where Cumming, Georgia is. All right. So do you know about the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals, the case uh, Smith versus Cumming? I have, I'm not familiar with that one. Okay. So Smith versus Cumming gives citizens the explicit right to film public servants, yourself, mm -hmm. federal employees, wherever, wherever the hell she went to now. In public. In public. We're in public right now. We're in public. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> exactly. We're in public. Okay. What about inside of a building. It's still public. That's a public building. Okay. The but, post, but. the uh, uh, what do you call that? The uh, yeah, the post office box area is definitely open to the public. Hell, the door never locks. I don't, I don't think you can go in there anytime you want. McDonald's is open to the public. It's a privately owned business, though. Okay. And is the post office not technically privately owned? No. It's, it's owned it's, by somebody. It's owned by the federal government. It's owned by somebody. Right. It's owned by the federal government, right? It's owned by somebody. Yeah, it's owned by we. Well, you don't pay taxes here, do you? It doesn't matter where I pay taxes. Tax money goes into the federal funds that get dispersed out everywhere else, right? If you say so, so as long as I'm a U.S. citizen, if I was, even if I, I was a foreign I mean, citizen, you're a citizen, if I was a foreign citizen and I came into this country, mm -hmm. right, and I bought a candy bar, I have every right to come in here and do the same thing. To, to film and aggravate people. I'm not aggravating anybody. You're no, aggravating me. That's not what they say. <laughs> they can say whatever the heck they want to say. They could say I was in there dancing on the tables. Well, but of course, we know that I wasn't. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to borrow you from the property. If you feel like you need to get an attorney to fight the borrowing notice, then do what you need to do. So you're going to trespass me from public property when I haven't committed a crime. Look, they have the right to keep if, you if, the property. If I was to be charged with any sort of crime, what crime would you have charged me with today? What would, what would it be? Disorderly conduct. How so? Call I haven't been disorderly. Them. You've been in there acting disorderly. I barely spoke to anybody. Well, right? Was you asked to leave? How is opening the door for people as they're coming in and out with big boxes? Is that disorderly? I don't know. That's chivalry, isn't it? No, I wasn't here. I don't know. Stepping out of line so that some elderly lady and her, I guess, son or whoever it was. Causing that disturbance. Yeah. That's that's if that's if stepping out of line so that people with a large amount of packages can get their business taken well, care of, since I'm not necessarily in a hurry, like I said, is doing, that disorderly? I'm, I'm, I'm doing my part of my duty. You're not doing it very and well, acting, I gotta tell you that. And acting on what she wants done, okay? Look, right now, she wants us to serve you one of these criminal trespass notices, which we're, which we're gonna do. Well, you, okay? you don't need to do that. I could just walk away because. Well, we're gonna do that. <laughs> I haven't committed a crime yet. I have been, be. I have been warned to leave the property yet. He doesn't have to. Be. She don't want you to come back. We're gonna serve you with this. Uh, I haven't committed a crime yet. Listen, listen to me. Sorry. <laughs> What's your Seriously. name? You ain't got no name tag on, do you? Um, they, they Did don't you rent that vest? Property. Is that a is that a loaner vest, a rental vest? You don't even have a name on you. One second. <laughs> they, they've asked us to serve you with criminal trespass. We have to write your name on this paper. That's cordially what I'm asking you to do is for your ID. So I can serve you with criminal trespass right? You're asking me? Yes. I politely, I politely, uh, uh, I, I'm giving you a lawful I'm order out there, so to provide climb. me with your ID or name for this. Now right now you're obstructing my investigation and my duty. I'm not instructed anything. I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to place you under arrest for obstruction. So you're going to arrest me when there's no crime been committed yet? You're failing to ID yourself to me, which is required by law, which is required by law, which is required by law. When I ask you for ID. If I committed a crime, what crime is I committed that? You're not getting it. <laughs> sovereign citizens, man. They don't think they have to abide by the law. I understand. I'm not saying I'm a sovereign citizen. I'm here with the same rights no, no, as everybody you else. Call yourself, man. I'm here trying to express my right as everybody else is. If I walk up to that gentleman and, and, right there and, and ask I'm him trying for his to ID, express my duty to serve you with this criminal trespass. That's all it's got to be. Well, you, can put, you, ID yourself, you can put Joe on there. You can put that on there. That's all you got to put on there. Yeah, that's a false name. That's, How is that? You don't know my name that's yet, do you? In itself. Right? That's because you're failing to give it to us. If I told you my name was Bagwell, would you have thought that that's a false name? Probably so, right? 
Joe. If I tell you to put Joe on there, do you know if that's a false name or not? No, you don't know anything yet, do you? That's why I Okay, so stop accusing me of committing a crime when there hasn't been one committed. Stop standing there and trying to com trying to put me into a hole that hasn't been dug yet, okay? <laughs> So, this is what yeah, we're going to do. I do need you to put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for failing to give us your information. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit Rogue Nation. Simply click the link in the description to visit his channel.